Hello and welcome to this very special video where we want to talk about a collaboration with you. Now, some of you may or may not know, but we're in the process of compiling a How to Be a Great GM book. That's right, we'll put it up on Drive Through RPG when it's ready, and it will contain the very first book anyway that we're planning, the complete collection of videos on how to build your own campaign from the beginning all the way through to the end, and everything that you need to know on how to create NPCs and plots and linking plots together and tying in subplots and the character backstories and how to put it all together in one document. Now that document, this book that we want to make, will be filled with templates and things that you can fill in and populate that will help stimulate and motivate the little grey cells to create your own world, your own campaign and your own adventures. Now that's our plan. So why do we need you? Well, we need you because we want to fill this book up not necessarily fill it up, but I mean, you know what I mean. We want to have some cool imagery in there because there's nothing more stimulating, in my mind anyway, than some really great images. Images don't come cheap, and we want to make sure that we showcase the very best artists that we can source to make some really, really cool material for us to use within the book. Funding for that can happen in various ways, and the way that we've approached it, at least certainly the way that we think is the coolest way, is to partner up with a game company. Now, this game company happens to produce some remarkably fun and entertaining online games that are free to play. That's the most important thing, in my opinion. So we promote them. They pay us every time you sign up to play the game. It's as simple as that. Your sign up is absolutely free. You enter in your username and password and off you go and you can explore some of these amazing worlds. And let me just say that I play these games outside of role playing anyway. And they just happened to get hold of us and said, hey, can we do some kind of link up? So the games in question are Total War Arena. Now, I've been a fanatic of Total War since so way back when with Total War Rome 1. Now, in that series, that campaign, you were a Roman, the uh, Julii, the Scipii, um, or the other ones, which I never played. <laughs> And you had to take over most of Europe. Now, a very good friend of mine, he's actually been on the channel uh, as a role player. He and I would play the game jointly. He would play the battles, he would be, be the tactician, and I would be the, the um, grand strategist who would determine which province we took over next and what the tax levies should be. But we turned it into a role-playing game. Literally, he was General Leviticus and I was Senator Paulinus or whoever I happened to be at the time, depending on the name and the family tree that came up. And we would tell this role-playing story and we'd have conflicts where the general and the senator were in conflict as to which province to invade and the general would refuse and the senator would cut off his supply and, oh, it was absolutely marvellous and wonderful. And that was many, many, many years ago. Anyway, Total War as a franchise has expanded out in all different directions and um, there are all kinds of Total Wars available now and they're all very, very good games. Total War Arena happens to take the best of the combat system, in my opinion, and pitch you in the middle of it with a whole bunch of other people. So when we talk about war in our campaigns, this is a very good example of how you, controlling three squads of men, can make a difference or really, really, really stuff it up for everybody else. The idea is that you control a squad of three units and you run around the battlefield trying to destroy the enemy. At the same time, there are, I think it's eight or nine other players who are also controlling three units who are trying to do the same thing. And of course, you communicate by drawing diagrams and things on the battle map itself. And then off you go and you desperately try to defeat the enemy using either Roman, Greek, Barbarian or... Uh, Hannibalian, Hannibalian, um, Carthaginian would be the correct term, Carthaginian troops to uh, advance your cause and of course as your troops gain experience points they level up and they gain all sorts of weird and wonderful things which makes the game just that much more enjoyable. That's one game that you could sign up for and help to support the book in terms of gaining artwork. 
The other two games are World of Tanks and World of Battleships. Now, I used to play World of Battleships extensively. I absolutely love the ability to command a destroyer and sail out into the Pacific and go and try and find some enemy ships to fire at and sink. Invariably, the exact opposite happened. I was on board the ship, we'd see an enemy, and somehow their torpedoes would find us first. Their long-range 15-inch guns would just fire away, pound, 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 and... Well, then we were sunk. But you're operating with a bunch of other players, and you're fighting against other real players, so it brings in a nice element of, well, fun, basically. Now, what I like about all of these games, World of Tanks, World of Battleships, and Total War Arena, is that they play out in a couple minutes. There's no long-term commitment. There's no long-term campaign. You sit down, you log in, and then you just go to war. It's so much fun. I really do enjoy it. So... They are looking for people to sign up and to participate in these wonderful online battles. We're looking for them to pay us money for you to sign up for free. And then we will release this book, which we have been writing and compiling. And it's getting longer and longer. And the Web Goblin is shouting at me for including too much. Too much. Too much, he keeps saying. Shorten it. Cut it down. Now, what makes it different from just watching the videos? Well, the videos I generally try to keep short. I know, I don't believe it either. No, I try to keep them as short as possible. And because I have bad note keeping, I often forget to add stuff in that I wanted to talk about and then don't have enough stuff to make a second video, but it would be nice to be able to talk about. So what I've done is I have now taken each of the videos that form the basis of the chapter and then I have rewritten the content in those chapters and expanded and expounded upon it. And there's an example campaign that's busy being built as the book is, is read through so you can follow along that. And of course the book, like the channel, is fairly system agnostic insofar as you can make it for science fiction or for fantasy or for any system really for that matter. So that's our pitch to you. You've been a wonderful, wonderful audience. You are still a wonderful audience. We're at 65,000 subscribers. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. And we really want to make this book as good as we possibly can. But we realize that some people go, oh, that's too much effort. I've got to enter in an email address and a username. Oh, and then I've got to click accept. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's, it's too much effort. So what we have done is I have created a series of battle maps, custom battle maps, that we will give to you as well. So you sign up, we get paid for your sign up, we take that money, we pay artists to generate artwork for the book, we release the book, everyone's happy. Over and above that, I have created a series of battle maps plus a scenario for a battle that takes place in the fantasy world of Braxia, but you can set it in any world you like, where you can see troop deployments and troop movements and that kind of thing, and there's some questions that are posed, so that you could use that in your campaign the next time that you are running a battle campaign, or at least the next time there's a war in your campaign, and it gives you some ideas for, well, if a party could go off and try and liberate the keep before the enemy army gets there, they could go down to the south and negotiate with the the lizard folk that live down there they could head across the plains into the glorious battle where they severely outnumbered all those kind of wonderful things so sign up send us an email at geeks well, send us an email geeks table at gmail.com geeks table at gmail.com it's down there geeks table at gmail.com send us your username and your pass password your credit card details on the front and the back no Send us your username for whichever of the uh, world of warships, world of tanks, world, total war arena, whichever one you've signed up for. It's all in one neat package anyway. Send us your username. I'll add you as a friend on total war arena anyway, and maybe we can meet up in glorious battle one day. But uh, send us your new username to geekstable at gmail.com, and we will immediately, as soon as possible, humanly possible, email back to you the strategic maps and the campaign, well, the scenario outline, just as a way of saying thank you for taking the extra effort to go through all of those hoops to support the book, which will be coming out and which will make sure is um, kept at a minimum because of this whole process. So I wouldn't normally talk about computer game sponsorship because it doesn't really fit within the space of role playing. We've already established with the, the Discord about plot armor that role playing games versus computer games. There's a lot of plot armor in computer games. There's not a lot in role playing games. Well, go watch the episode if you want to really discuss that. But the whole idea is that 
These games, I really have enjoyed playing them myself personally, and we thought the opportunity was fantastic. You get a great game, a scenario, plus battle maps, if you so choose. We get sponsorship to go and support some of our artists. And as you saw in the Werewolves video, we've got some great artists out there. We're going to go and look for some more. And then we all get to have a book at the end of it. I can't think of much more in terms of a win-win-win-win-win situation. Anyway, so if you could hit the links below, they're all down there underneath the video. Go and sign up. There's a code that gets added to the whole thing. You get some premium content just because you followed our link through to their uh, game. And of course, then we can meet each other on the glorious fields of battle, where I would hope that you are not as tactically savvy as I am, which is pretty difficult considering that a dead halibut has more tactics than I do. So until next time, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. More importantly, go and join up to show your support for the channel and for this book. I mean, if no one signs up and we don't get any money for the book, it's a pretty clear indication that my Tuesday nights have freed up and I don't have to carry on writing the book. Anyway, please, at least three of you sign up because I have already written half of the thing and it's, I mean, it's... It's, 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 it's long. It's not going to be one of these little five pages that you pick up. This, we're, we're talking, this is a volume. I mean, this is, this is, this is like five and a half pages. I mean, it's huge. Until next time, thank you for watching. I wish you and yours the very happiest of gaming.